Hello everyone, your favorite retired streamer, Wolfie here, coming at you with another one. Now, in this one, what we're going to be going over is we are going to be going over how to set up two-factor authentication on Twitch. So for your Twitch account, we're going to go ahead and set up two-factor authentication or 2FA as they do call it that on some other things. So let's go ahead and jump right on into how to set that up. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go ahead and head on over to Twitch. So let's go ahead and pull up Twitch in the background. So I have Twitch right here and we're going to go ahead and click on that. So let's go ahead and do that. And here we are now and we're on Twitch. So now that we're on Twitch, first thing you want to do, you're going to want to go ahead and log in to your Twitch account. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so here we are now, and I'm actually logged in on my Twitch account, I'm on my Twitch page here, and what we're going to want to do now, you're on your Twitch account, we're going to go ahead and go on over to the upper right side of the page, and we're going to click on our icon and we'll access the drop down. So now that we've got the drop down, we're going to want to go down to settings with the cog icon besides it. And also, before we get to this next step here, one thing you will need for this is you will need a mobile device. That's how you're actually going to do the authentication. So be sure that you have a mobile device handy for that step when we do end up getting to it. Okay, so we're going to click on settings. And once we click on that, we'll be in our settings page here. So now we're going to want to go up to where it says profile. And that is actually under right where I've got the camera here on the screen. So from profile, you're going to want to go over to the right three times. So the first one is Prime, the next one says Channel and Videos, and then the third one says Security and Privacy. So we're going to click on Security and Privacy. So once we click on that, we'll be here on this page. And now from here, we're going to go down past Contact, which is behind the camera again, and we're going to go down to security. Now from security, we're going to want to go down to, and we're going down to two-factor authentication. So to the right of that, we have our button which says set up two-factor authentication, and it adds an extra layer of security to your Twitch account. So whenever you log in, you'll be required to authenticate so that you can f log into your account. So let's go ahead and click on the button. And once we click on that, we'll be brought to this page here. And it says enable two-factor authentication. And what you're going to want to enter here is the number for your mobile device. And it says, this is a bit awkward. Can we get that number? And what will happen is once you put in the number, you're going to receive a code afterwards. So let's go ahead and put a number in here, and then I'll show you what the next step is going to be. Also, you can use the Authy app. There's an application called Authy, which can also be used as a part of your two-step verification if you don't want to get a text message or SMS every time you do have the option of using Authy. That is an app which you can download uh, whether it be an Apple device or you're in a device which uses the Google Play Store, you, you have the option of downloading Authy as well and using that in order to do your authentication. So we're going to go ahead and enter the number now. All right, now that we've entered the number, we're going to go ahead and hit continue. And then once we hit continue, we'll be brought to another page. And this is where we're going to need to enter our code that was sent to us, our verification code. So I just got the text here. My mobile device is set on vibrate, so that's why you didn't hear it. 
So go ahead, check your mobile device, and take note of that code. And you're going to want to enter that code into the box, which you see in front of you now. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so now I've entered the code into the box. I'm going to go ahead and hit verify. So hit verify. And once you do that, it'll say two-factor authentication is now enabled. And it also tells you you can download the Authy app to cut down on text messages. Maybe text messages are expensive for you and you do it a lot of times in a day, you log in and out. You can always use the Authy app so that, well, you're not charged when you use the Authy app. Whenever you send a text message, some people do not have unlimited text messages and there may be a charge for a text. So Authy is your alternative there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit done. And once we hit done, we'll be taken back to our page here. And this is where we can just double check to make sure the verification went through and it was saved properly. You'll see under security, if you take a look at two-factor authentication now, it'll say disable two-factor authentication. And there you go. Now you know that everything worked properly and you've properly authenticated. So that is going to be it for this one. If this video helped you out, I'd appreciate it so much if you could leave a like as that really helps me out and subscribe. I'm Wolfie and I'll see you next time. Bye.